Uh, 10 o'clock, I, I hate to say it, we called this, but uh, we basically just put heat pacers up on the board and said expect this to be uh, much different than what we had the last couple of games, that it would be much more competitive defensively. Uh, there would be some grind out possessions where it's rough, it's not necessarily going your way, uh, and you have to find a way to build, have some collective resiliency. Uh, it was rough um, at the beginning. Um, but our guys uh, just stayed the course. You didn't feel a sense of panic. Uh, guys were just disappointed that we were playing so poorly. Uh, but at the same time, you have to credit Indiana. They're, they're a very good defensive team. Uh, you know, we have them rated in the top five, not only steals, but they're good, well coached, and, and positionally uh, good defensively. Um, but you just have to make some plays. And I, we love seeing these. You know, after the last two games, hey, we'll li we like that. We, we'll, we'll take those. But 38% uh, to 39%. Um, and if you find a way to win, these oftentimes are how playoff games are played. 66 rebounds tonight, 67 yeah. the other night yeah. with a six foot 11 guy missing. Just how rewarding is that? Uh, yeah, and other guys have to step up. And, and Lou has been fantastic, uh, really all year, uh, because he feels more comfortable this year with us. Uh, I think last year he was deferential just in terms of how he wanted to insert himself and impose himself, but also from a leadership standpoint. He was the leader uh, for Chicago for several years. Um, but it takes time to, to step into that kind of role. Uh, and he started to become a little bit more active with his leadership this year. And then as, as soon as we were dealt with a lot of adversity in January, and then particularly with CB gone um, the, last, the last week and Dwayne missing those two games, he really stepped up. Um, and just he's filling in in a lot of different areas. Um, where we need it. And tonight, it was on the glass. Uh, nobody shot it well. <laughs> so uh, how else can you help us? Um, you know, those extra possessions and the, the tough defensive rebounds were, were big. Um, you, you said if Dwayne played, he'd play his normal minutes. He ended up having to play 39. <laughs> but how did you how did you think that uh, how did you think that he looked generally? No, he looked he looked fine. I mean, he obviously was a little bit um, out of rhythm. You know, some of the shots that he normally gets, especially those pull-up shots, uh, he was off on those. Um, I, I planned on taking him out for three minutes in the fourth, right about the six-minute mark. Um, and then there were just a series of timeouts. Um, and I thought we could get a sprint to the end. Uh, it didn't turn out that way. So I joked with the match words. My plan was on my card, 28 minutes. Um, so be it. You know, he, he had a little bit more tonight. Eric, just Goran, uh, you know, he, he's obviously made a lot of plays for you guys, but tonight, particularly in overtime, yeah. he was the go-to guy that you yep. went to there to, to take the lead. Yeah, he it looked like he had the most energy at that point. Um, you know, so we would put the ball in his hands, and, uh, you know, I don't know how many times we had 62 in the paint, and I don't know how many times he actually got in the paint. Uh, but he was relentless, and it felt like he was getting stronger as the game was going on. Uh and he's getting more comfortable. Um, you know, and this was already building. Uh, right before he got hurt in January, he was starting to play his best basketball, uh, where he's starting to feel comfortable and imposing himself more aggressively with this team. And now he understands that everybody wants him to. Um, and that's a great feeling for your confidence. Eric Bino has a foot injury. Yeah. The song is busting him out. <laughs> Um, it just goes on and on. Where is this team physically right now, and how are they holding it together? Uh, we're holding it together, uh, and you just keep on moving forward. Um, you know, we it's, it's just been an interesting week. Um, we miss everybody. <laughs> they're, they're not here, and that, that's, you know, CB, Smarty, and, and Juwan. It, it was strange, again, looking on our bench, and there's, there's so few people uh, on the bench. Um, you know, so uh, you just keep on plugging away. Uh, you build up some resiliency f uh, from that. You miss the guys. Um, and we'll find out, you know, about our health. The guys are getting healthy, so in one regard, you feel good about it. Other guys uh, are not. And um, we'll find out more about Baino. The, uh, the x-rays were negative, um, but we'll find out. 
You always talk about the impacts that Winslow makes that aren't on the box score, but there's always the one number at the end that can. That's plus 29. That's, what that's, was his impact tonight? That almost looks like a misprint. Uh, and, you know, what, what, what can you say? Uh, he's wise beyond his years, uh, but, um, you know, what you love about him is he's a competitor. And so you get into a game like this where it's not free-flowing. This is a game for competitors. Uh, and the real competitors will rise. And it might not necessarily be uh, the numbers on a, on a box score, but uh, that's who he is. Um, he made some big plays on both ends down the court, and that's, I've said this before. It's a top three tough cover uh, in the league in terms of trying to get through all the screens, play them on pick and rolls, uh, play them all the way out to the three-point line, and then do it without fouling. Uh, it's extremely tough, uh, and he locked big minutes, and um, you know he was great, particularly down the stretch. Hassan too made some of those plays tonight. We've talked about screening with him before. Oh, he set boy. a big one against George yeah. there at the end. Yep. What kind of plays was he making up to uh, that end as well? Yeah, and it, what we feel really encouraged about was he built on the last game. And it was right from the shoot around this morning. Uh, and that's uh, where we want him to go. I, I said right after the break that I'm excited to see where he'll be in this stretch run and the progress that he'll make. Uh, and they'll just keep on, uh, you know, working to get better each day and, and have performances like this. Uh, the team has, has confidence in him. Um, and I think he's gaining confidence and trust with the team. When you talked about Lou and deferring and things like that, have you seen this past week with him and Goran, have you seen kind of a spark from them knowing that it's it's their time to take over? Uh, well, they just understand that we didn't want to pack up the tent uh, and call it a game, you know, the, the Atlanta-Washington games. These, these guys are big-time competitors, uh, and they've been leaders on teams before. Uh, so they understood that – the, the time was to show grit, uh, and with them, that was with more responsibility. Uh, and the thing that we've talked about all year long is enjoying someone else's success. And it's different guys and different nights. It's, it's great. And the guys that were out or not having big nights the two nights before were so happy uh, for them. Uh, and... You know, tonight guys were happy for the guys that finished the game and, and played well, and, and they understand that it's a, it's a long season. You need everybody. You need your depth, clearly, <laughs> with all the injuries you're going through and adversity. Um, but you have to be able to, uh, to contribute and then play a role when you need to play a role.